Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nathy and I'm here in LA for E3. The hype is real and uh, I got the opportunity to check out Lone Echo 2. I'm going to have a, an exclusive hands-on, so that's going to be amazing. I'm super curious, so join me on this epic adventure. Let's uh, dive deeper down the rabbit hole and uh, check it out. Let's do this. Now arriving, Chiron Station, Central Transit Hub. Jack? When you're ready, let me know. I'm ready. Excellent. Come on, Jack. Let's have a look around, see what we can find. What is this? A monument. A memorial. Dedicated to all those we have lost. Devoted to all those we have yet to save. Warning, environmental systems compromised. Oxygen reserves, 62%. Life support's out here too. We still have time. We'll find a stable environment. Don't worry. Who's worried? Jack? Up here. Tell me what that looks like to you. It appears to be an old Atlas transport. Central? Hello, Captain Rhodes. I'm glad to see you're still safe. You too, Echo One. Central, are you saying this is your ship? That's a complicated question. The ship is my home, but it doesn't belong to me. Then who does it belong to? I'm afraid I'm not permitted to disclose that information. Imagine my shock. I am sorry, Captain Rhodes. I would tell you if I could, but my directives... What about life support? Does the ship still have atmosphere? The ship is currently suffering the same power disruptions as the station. However, if someone were to re-engage the ship's backup generators... Then we'd have life support. The docking platform is in the next sector, through the security checkpoint. I can show you the way. This way. Never thought I'd see an Atlas ship out the window again. I'd say it was strange, but after everything else we've been through, a wayward Atlas ship hardly seems to qualify. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Can you see anything? Liv, there's something moving on the other side of the door. Some sort of creature. Let me guess. Small, spongy, and covered in tentacles. How did you know? What is that? That is a tick. Sorry, you're gonna have to do a bit better than that. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. What is it doing? Ticks instinctually seek out the nearest viable energy source, which, in this case, happens to be the captain. Hmm, lovely. I wouldn't worry yourself, Captain. I'm reasonably certain it can't break through the glass. All right, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around then. What about that disposal unit? That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? There might be another way inside. Based on my limited knowledge of the facility's layout, there seems to be a less direct route through the loading bay. It's just this way. It's awfully dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? Oh, no, Captain. I think there's a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Central's right. I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. So that's that then. Wait. What do you mean, that's that? I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. This isn't the Kronos 2. If something were to happen to him, he can't just reboot. Liv, I'll be careful. You don't get it, Jack. If you shut down, 
That's it. You're gone. Actually, I have an idea for how he might be able to avoid that possibility. Yeah, he can avoid it by not going. My knowledge of the station indicates there is a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we can use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So... you're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. I don't know, Jack. You really think this is a good idea? Not especially. But that's never really stopped us before. Alright. Well, that's kind of hard to argue with. Okay, I'll try and keep the ticks distracted from this side of the window. Okay. And Jack? I know. Be careful. Don't die. I'll unlock the door for you. Ready when you are. Jack, up here. The emergency power switch is in this control room. How do I get inside? You'll need to go through the maintenance ducts. There should be an access hatch nearby. You're sure all the biomass in this sector is dormant? As sure as I can be. Of course, that will change once we get emergency power back online. But by then he'll be able to reboot, right? It will take a minute or two to get Jack scanned into the system, but that is more or less correct. Ah, there you are. This control panel will restore emergency power to the local grid. That's it. Emergency power restored. The door to the loading bay is unlocked. What about the fabricator? Online and ready to scan. Jack, if you'll follow me. Just climb inside and we'll begin. This will only take a few moments. New template created. Echo unit, series 11, initializing fixed tomographic scan, mapping target composition, replicating internal functionality, linking neural matrix to network, scan complete. Did it work? Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? This should make removing those ticks much easier. That's it? Isn't that the reason we were doing this? You know what? Forget it. I'm just... glad you're okay. We're all done here. Jack, I've reopened the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. On my way. Be careful. Restoring emergency power has reawakened the biomass. So unless you're planning to test your new reboot ability, I would avoid all contact. Understood. Too distressing an experience for you. Nothing I haven't been through before. Now then, this corridor will take us through the loading bay and back around to the rear entrance of the security room. After you, Jack. Communications may get a little spotty in the loading bay itself, but they should clear up once we reach the other side. 
Keep the channel open anyway. Spotty comms are better than no comms at all. Agreed. Good luck in there. The way ahead is through this door, but if you try to open it now, the tick is sure to attack you. We should find a way to pacify it, before we even attempt opening the door. Central, what is this panel in the floor? An electrical bypass. It allows you to push emergency power to various components in the area. You can use your cutter to gain access. should keep the tick occupied. Now we should be able to safely open the door. We're fortunate the store has an emergency release. Not all of them do. How do I access the emergency release? You'll need to cut off the bolts holding the panel in place. Now just pull the release handle and the door will unlatch. You should be able to slide the door open. Watch yourself. There are two more ticks at the end of the corridor. Another tick. Take care moving forward. Copy that. Transformer on the wall is now live. The tick is still focused on the door. So long as the tick has a power source to feed on, it won't bother searching for another. More ticks in the next room. We'll need some way to distract them. The crane arm is already online. The trolley is unlocked. You should be able to move the crane just like before. That seems to be our best option for luring out those ticks. Door powered down. The tick can sense me through the glass. Yes. As long as it can read your energy signature, the tick will continue to follow you. Hmm. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. Indeed. Ticks may be deadly, but they're not exactly intelligent. Door power restored.
This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery? Precisely. Central, how much further? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more tick swarms? Technically, the correct term for a group of ticks is a murder. Very appropriate. I suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Central, you can help him out there, right? I believe so. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. Tick Jettison. Way to go, Jack. The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Liv, go to the door. Will do. That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Central, if you would please... Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. Appreciate it. Are you alright? Of course. These reconstructed shells are practically identical to my original design. I hardly notice a difference. Hardly. Well, there may be one or two servos that are off by a micrometer or so. I'm sure you'll manage. The important thing is we're finally clear of the biothreat. Um, Captain Rhodes? What is it? More biothreat. Oh, Central. You're kidding me right now with this. No, you're not kidding. We're sure this is the only way? Unfortunately, yes. You understand, Captain. My directives Your won't directives allow. won't allow you, yes, I know. 
Ugh, God damn it! Would the previous occupants of the station have any sort of protective gear that could help shield Liv from the bio threat? Possibly. Let me scan the station's database. Okay? Yes. It appears the fabricator in this room has designs for a protective EVA suit. That should be suitable. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply, yes. But more importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. Okay... Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Central, you could have warned me this was going to feel so weird. How would I know? Well, what do you think? Bit of a step up, wouldn't you say? I like it. A marked improvement over your old EVA suit. My old EVA suit was being held together by duct tape. I'd certainly hope this was an improvement. What's duct tape? What's duct tape? Well, it's the tape... <sighs> oh, never mind. Come on, let's go. The docking bridge is just up ahead. Is there anything else we should know before we board that ship? I've told you everything my directives will permit me to say. The rest you'll have to discover on your own. I am sorry. It's all right, Central. Charging headlong into unknown situations is kind of what we do. With varying degrees of success. That's putting it lightly.